The outstanding medical director officer from within the Puget Sound region this year is Dr. Rick Goss, medical director of Harborview Medical Center. As the medical director at Harborview for the past six and a half years, Dr. Goss leads one of the core teaching hospitals in the University of Washington School of Medicine. Quoting now, he says, we're all better at what we do because of our teaching environment. And Dr. Goss would know, he operates a 413 bed hospital that handles 18,000 inpatients a year, an emergency department that treats 66,000 annually, and 18 clinics that provide outpatient care to 246,000 people each year. Please welcome Dr. Rick Goss. Well, good evening and thank you so much for this honor. This is just a, a tremendous honor and very unexpected. Thank you to Seattle Business Magazine, to the, uh, the, those that nominated me, and to you all tonight. And particular recognition to my colleagues as well uh, from the UW Medicine System and Harborview uh, that are really very much a part of this uh, award. Uh, and really special thanks that I would like to, to offer to uh, two people that have really opened doors for me in this system, and that would be Janice Spiso and Cindy Hecker in particular, and thank you for your support all these years. And for myself uh, in this community, I just feel this is such a, an amazing time in healthcare with the health reform, the Affordable Care Act, and the Medicaid expansion that's going on in, in this state is just, just tremendous. I really didn't think I would, I would see that day. And the fact that we're putting patients at the center of the healthcare system and driving quality in all that we're doing. And in the role that I have at uh, Harborview as the medical director and as part of the UW uh, medicine system, working on accountable care programs, as well as some of the committees uh, at the state level, the Bree Collaborative and the Foundation for Healthcare Quality and the Washington State Hospital Association, I feel I get to really uh, work on two of the central passions that have al always guided me. And that is the, the care of the underserved, the safety net population, as well as using clinical measurement to drive the highest quality through very good clinical measures as well as making that transparent. And with that, the thing that really grounds me is being a physician, and as we speak, I'm an attending on an inpatient medical service at Harborview this last couple weeks. And you probably all recognize that as those large rounding teams where there's the attending and all the ducklings that come along and we're all wearing the white coats and it's training the next generation. There's the residents and, and the interns and the students. Well, today, that got extended for me just a little bit. As I went into one of the patient's rooms, there were actually two brand new second year medical students. And they were just learning how to put their hands on a patient for the first time, those physical exam skills. So I just said, well, you know, let me, let me help you out here. Let me show you a few things that I like to do. So I said, the first thing we do is we wash our hands. We did that very slowly. We do that every time when we go in, when we come out. And I said, then the next thing we do is we walk over to this white marker board on the wall and we write our name and we like say it three times so the person totally knows who their doctor is. And then we sit down right next to the patient at the eye level and we look at the patient and we communicate with the patient. And then we go through some of the physical exam findings and, and we think about uh, how to make a good diagnosis. And they were taking notes and everything. And as I walked out of that room, I said, you know, these people aren't gonna need a whole bunch of graphs to remind them to wash their hands. You know, if we are able to teach them from that very first day about what it means to be patient oriented, you know, we've got their careers uh, set. So uh, I think that collectively, uh, as we work to change the culture, we need to look at, at ourselves in the mirror and also be looking at that next generation. 
And as people have recognized their families, I would like to, to recognize mine. Um, my wife, Nanette, is, is here, as she's also a physician at Virginia Mason. And speaking of ward rounding, it was probably, what, 24 some odd years ago, we too were rounding on an internal medicine team and have been together ever since. And uh, <laughs> thank you for making that journey. And my mother and father are here, and I'm just pleased that you could be here to support me. And my father is also a physician, a retired uh, general surgeon in the Seattle area, having worked at Group Health for many years. So uh, thank you all. And uh, thank you.